From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A dozen years ago, a guy from England had a brilliant plan for making money on the internet. He would create a website made up of a million pixels arranged in a 1,000 by 1,000 grid and then sell 10 by 10 blocks for one dollar. Well, today, in 2017, people are still finding creative ways to make a quick buck online. For example, how many people paid a dollar to see how many people paid a dollar.com? <laughs> the owner of this site he makes money by selling you for one dollar the right to see how many people have paid one dollar to see how many people have done the thing you just did. And I have to admit, I did check out the site. It was really tempting to spend that dollar, but I, I didn't. A driver in England crashed his $340,000 Ferrari an hour after he bought it. The sports car was totaled, but the driver walked away with only cuts and bruises. Also totaled was the guy's ego and his rate on auto insurance. A supermarket in Scotland has come up with a relaxed checkout line where people are encouraged to take their time, talk, and ask the cashier questions. That sounds like a great idea. As long as nobody is behind you. If there is, then that sucks! Now they're talking about Sean Spicer being on the next season of Dancing with the Stars. Well, he's already used to dancing around reporters' questions, so why not? When police in England stopped a taxi driver for speeding one recent evening, he blamed it on his passenger's foul-smelling flatulence. See, now there's a lesson to be learned here, folks. If the farts are in your car, you can't drive away from them, no matter how fast you go. The Pentagon reportedly spends $84 million on erectile dysfunction medication every year. Yeah, okay, you know, somebody needs to show me in writing what the definition of national defense actually is in this country. Women prefer real men, as in men who have hairy chests and beer bellies, rather than men who dress well and get manicures. That's the word from a survey of British women conducted by Lion Bar Ice Cream. They found 80 percent of women consider the metrosexual traits of hair straightening and frequent tanning to be a sexual turnoff. The poll also found that 10 percent of women like the smell of beer on a man's breath. 20 percent admitted that they're attracted to men with a bit of a body odor. Well then, if I'm ever single again, I'm moving to Britain post-haste! Anne Hathaway is in talks for the title role in a live-action Barbie movie, which sounds almost as appealing as a sequel to Gem and the Holograms. Almost. If you want to be so happy, whistle while you work, either literally or figuratively. You need to find a job that offers meaningful work where you believe your contributions are adding to the company's big goals. That can be the most powerful force to keeping people happy, says Dr. Jonathan Habelsman, an associate professor of organizational behavior at the University of Alabama. While a competitive salary and benefit packages are essential, they are not what ultimately make us happy at work or stay at the job. One way to achieve a happy workplace is through job crafting. This is a radical idea, at least from the boss's point of view, where employees write their own job description based on what they're interested in with specific tasks that suit their skills and make them happy. <laughs> well, I, all right, I can understand why the boss might be a bit nervous about that idea. I mean, my perfect job description would be spending eight hours a day watching Netflix while eating Cheetos. How much can I get paid for that? Christy Brinkley says it's hard to meet nice guys at the age of 63. Yeah, you know what, I'm finding that a bit difficult to believe because, well, she's Christy Brinkley and men from the age of 20 to 120 want to date her. Because she's Christy Brinkley. People in Iceland really want drivers to stop looking at the Northern Lights. Iceland's Road and Coastal Administration is trying to figure out how to deal with tourists suddenly parking their cars in the middle of Iceland's highway to snap photos of the lights. Uh, have they tried turning off the light switch? President Trump donated his entire second quarter salary as president to the Department of Education, where teachers will educate our children in the English language so they can someday become president of the United States and speak with a sixth grade vocabulary. For a brief period on Thursday, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos overtook Bill Gates as the world's richest person with $90.9 billion. Good for him! He no longer has to rent his bowling shoes. 
If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. If you'd like to become an official weirdo, simply click that subscribe button and, while you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you're weird. Ever get into an argument while playing a card game or a board game? Well, a 31-year-old Minnesota man has been charged with stabbing another guy and hitting him with a mallet after an argument broke out during a game of Magic the Gathering. First, he lost his mind – that's plus one – then he lost his friend – negative two – and finally he lost his freedom – negative six. A poll says 33 percent of Americans are happy. Now, how you feel about that statistic probably lets you know which category you fall in. A new app called the Kissinger is a rubber gadget that attaches to the user's phone to simulate long-distance kissing. With your lover smooching you from another location, the Kissinger mimics a real kiss using pressure sensors and actuators. So now you can tell somebody to kiss my grits from across the country and still mean it literally. The Cowboys' David Irving says he injured his nipple when he lost a nipple ring at camp. But then it's kind of hard to feel sorry for a guy who has a nipple ring. A young British couple has gone public with details of their very strange relationship. Adam Gillette, 27, and partner Beatrice Gibbs, 22, say that their one-sided open relationship makes them happy and they're not concerned with what others think. So basically, she can sleep with other men, but he has to remain faithful, on the condition that she doesn't leave him. Beatrice explained, I love Adam, but I wasn't ready to settle down and commit to just one man. He, on the other hand, was terrified that she would leave him, so would rather allow her to have the occasional fling than have to worry about losing her. Beatrice says she sometimes feels a little guilty about seeing other people, but after a chat and a cuddle with Adam, things quickly get back to normal. She keeps things purely physical with the other guys, and Adam says the arrangement takes away the worry of her cheating on him. Um, no, she is cheating on you. Sleeping with other people while committed to you is the definition of cheating. Saying it's not cheating doesn't make it not cheating. I mean, I can call a chicken sandwich a celery stick all day long. That doesn't make it anything other than a chicken sandwich. In Nice, France over the weekend, an airport worker reportedly punched a man holding a baby after the man complained about a 13-hour delay on an EasyJet flight. Oh, EasyJet. Man, I would have bet money this story took place on United Airlines. Elementary school students in Marion County, Florida will have more free time after school this year as the school district implements a controversial homework ban. The goal is to eventually make Florida's main export fast food workers. Starbucks is starting to sell their own brand of ice cream at 100 of their locations in the U.S. It's just like regular ice cream, except it tastes a little burned and it's four times more expensive. Grandparents and their faraway grandkids are sure keeping the conversation going thanks to modern technology. About 80 percent of grandparents reach out and touch their grandkids at least once a month via texting, Facebook, Skype, Twitter, instant messaging, or good old-fashioned phones, says an AARP survey. While gabbing up a storm, the topics uh, discussed usually include morals and values 78 percent of the time, staying safe at 73 percent, college and careers at 72 percent, and religion and spirituality 66 percent of the time. And it's not that grannies or grandpas are bypassing their own kids. 84 percent of them say they contact their children at least once a month. But come on, let's face it, that's probably to talk about the grandkids. Stephen Colbert is going to produce a cartoon series for Showtime about the Trump White House. Apparently, he cannot fit all of his Trump bashing into his one-hour every weeknight show and needs to find another outlet. President Trump doesn't mind that his new communications director is taking public shots at his chief of staff. White House spokeswoman Sarah Huckabee Sanders says Trump actually enjoys there being a competitive Game of Thrones dynamic among his staffers. In fact, starting after Labor Day, Trump's going to hold bare-knuckle cabinet member fights in the Rose Garden. A report says the obesity epidemic is affecting 711 million people worldwide. 7-Eleven. Hey, there's that number again. Who's in the mood for a cherry Slurpee and a nacho cheese-covered hot dog? Arizona has a new concept regarding executions, an idea one lethal injection expert calls unprecedented, wholly novel, and frankly absurd. Are you ready for this? 
The Arizona Department of Corrections well, they've had a lot of problems acquiring the standard execution drugs uh, pentobarbital and thiopental, so they are suggesting that lawyers provide the drugs to be used to kill their own clients. Yes, now <laughs> not only is this obviously unethical, but the plan is simply legally impossible. For, uh, well, the makers of penobarbital, they won't allow the drug to be used in executions, and thiopental isn't sold in the U.S. and it can't be imported. I mean, these, these, you're all acting like lethal injections the only way to kill somebody, though. I mean, there are other options that are a lot easier to execute somebody. I mean, shooting squad, hanging, guillotine, binge watching the view. A couple in Florida have announced their Trump divorce. She was a devout Trump supporter, he was a staunch Democrat, and after less than two years it just wasn't working. Really shouldn't be a big surprise, though. House Republicans and Democrats never get along. A new study says that 42 percent of millennials have not started saving for their retirement. Uh, I only have one question. What is this mysterious word? Retirement. Ohio firefighters rescued a 45-year-old woman in Sheffield Lake who called 911 after a boa constrictor wrapped around her neck and began biting her face. The giant reptile was one of two snakes she had rescued the day before, though police have not said how or where. A firefighter used a pocket knife to cut off the snake's head. The woman was taken to a hospital for apparent non-life-threatening injuries. The woman had 11 snakes, including nine ball pythons and the boa constrictors. 11 snakes! The only way this story makes sense is if the woman's name is Medusa. A study finds that blowing out birthday cake candles is a horrible way to treat your friends at your party because it spreads a tremendous number of germs. But hey, you know, then again, maybe your secret birthday wish is to spread the flu around. Coke Zero is getting a new name. Coke Zero Sugar. That's right, it's new and improved because we've added the word sugar to the name. Vladimir Putin has expelled 755 U.S. diplomats as punishment for the new U.S. sanctions against Russia. Oh, uh, so, so I have to leave Russia and can never come back? Oh, boo-hoo! Oh, how will I go on? Oh, woe is me! The owner of a clown motel in Nevada is looking to sell it. You know, anybody willing to own and run a clown hotel? They would have to be a real bozo. Katie Couric is leaving Yahoo News after three years. Katie says she's proud of the three years she spent there, but apparently not enough to say Yahoo. Cosmetic surgeons have identified a new phenomenon among our computer-reliant generation described as computer face. They've noticed that sagging jowls and eye wrinkles are common on women who spend their days hunched over computers. The sagging jowls, they're caused by constantly looking down. That shortens the neck muscles, making the neck baggy. The wrinkles, they're caused by people who squint and frown when concentrating on their screens. Doing it for long enough, or often enough, that makes the wrinkles and lines permanent. I, I can hear it now, my wife tossing the computer out the second floor window. Officials say a Spirit Airlines flight leaving Las Vegas on Sunday was briefly delayed after a passenger removed all their clothes while boarding and approached a flight attendant. Well, he had so much fun doing it during the TSA security check, he just couldn't wait to do it again. Amazon.com is under federal investigation for possibly violating U.S. sanctions against Iran by selling goods to at least one person listed on the government's terrorism list. And with Amazon Prime, those terrorists can enjoy Downton Abbey whenever they feel like it. The stereotype is that guys just won't ask for directions. But that's not always true. In a bizarre story coming out of the Middle East, it seems the pilot of a Kazakhstani chopper landed his $14 million military aircraft on a snowy highway, stopping trucks in their tracks. Well, soon the pilot hops out, runs to the first truck, shakes the driver's hand, has a chat, runs back to his gunship, and takes off. Turns out the guy was just lost. He stopped to ask which way to Agtobe. A video of the incident is now making the rounds, prompting the Kazakhstan Ministry of Defense to defend its trainee pilot. He was apparently sent out as part of a visual orienting exercise 
in which he was supposed to figure out his way back by means of human survey. It's not clear, however, whether stopping to ask truckers counts as cheating. Why, hey, he, he asked a man for directions. Sounds like he figured his way back by means of a human survey to me. If you live to your 80s, you will have acquired six and a half feet of nose hair during your lifetime. Aren't you glad you know that now? Nearly one in four parents will deny their children this year some basic school items as they continue to struggle to cover the cost of returning to school. Nearly three-quarters of parents surveyed feel that back-to-school spending is a financial burden and 27 percent say costs will negatively impact their household bills. Man, you, you know things are bad when you have to dip into your kid's college fund to buy him a protractor. In Seattle, a brewery is offering employees puppy parental leave, a week off with pay when they adopt or rescue a dog. Hey, so you need a week off of work? Well, visit the dog pound. And what if that dog gets hit by a car next week? Do you get another week off when you get a new dog to replace the first dog? Hmm? The mayor of a small town in Spain is being urged to bring in an exorcist as workers believe the city council offices are haunted and the ghost was even caught on camera. You know what? We should do the same thing in the USA to exorcise the demons out of Congress. Los Angeles will host the 2028 Summer Olympics. So Olathe, Kansas has been snubbed again. Hey, the, at least you know what? They, they'd better start now if they ever hope to get that Olympic torch through LA traffic. A study of weight loss finds that diets do not work, with most dieters putting more weight back on and raising their risk of diabetes and strokes. So you might as well strap on the feed bag and enjoy yourself. Nick Cannon has gone from America's Got Talent to hosting a lip-sync show for kids on Nickelodeon. The next step down would be filming karaoke lullabies with celebrity babies. Connor Cox apparently forgot to take out the trash, one of his regular chores, and his mom was not going to let him forget it, even if he was away at college. A freshman at Westminster College in New Wilmington, Cox tweeted a photo showing a box full of trash that his mother actually sent to him at school. He wrote, "...thought my mom was sending me a care package, but instead she sent me a box of trash I was supposed to take out." Uh, he later called his mom to see if maybe she sent the wrong box. Nope, it was the right box, all right, because, as he said, I had to be held responsible for what I didn't do. Uh, Cox said he was supposed to throw the trash away when he was at home for winter break, but he neglected to finish the chore. Man, just imagine if it was his job to clean out the kitty litter box. Research into why the gap in male and female lifespans exists suggests that a natural male propensity toward risky and daredevil behavior may be the reason that men don't live as long as women. Yeah, daredevil behavior, like ignoring your mom's repeated request to get up off the couch and take out the garbage. Being exposed to artificial light at night, even when it's dim as that emitted by a computer screen, that might be making people fat. Ohio State University researchers discovered mice exposed to a nightly glow piled on 50 percent more weight than those who slept in the dark. Mice with night lights, they ate more than half their daily food intake when they should have been asleep. Night lights, uh, they could be contributing to the obesity epidemic in people, says OSU's Dr. Randy Nelson. All right now, raise your hands if you lay in bed at night looking at your computer or smartphone screen. Huh? Yeah, me too. That explains a few things. An attempted kidnapping slash robbery slash carjacking of a University of South Carolina student was thwarted earlier this week when the carjackers were unable to operate the stick shift on the woman's vehicle. Well, you want me to drive myself to my own kidnapping? Get bent, losers. Osama bin Laden's son, Hamza, is saying he's ready to lead al-Qaeda and get revenge for his father's death. So we have that to look forward to. Colorado is considering a bill that would allow legal pot deliveries, which is a much better idea than buying your pot, getting high in the parking lot, and then trying to drive home. A watchdog group says the Cheesecake Factory's pasta and pizza hybrid dinner is the most unhealthy restaurant meal at 2,300 calories. Dang! 
That is 200 calories over what I get for the entire day, according to my MyFitnessPal app. Police in Albuquerque, New Mexico are hunting for a 1,700-pound barbecue pit stolen from a local restaurant that was actually barbecuing a brisket when it was stolen. Man, sounds like somebody needs to beef up their security. So, seven priests walk into a pub. No, it's not a lame joke, it really happened at a pub in Cardiff, and they were promptly asked to leave. That's because the bartender thought they were a bunch of rowdy lads on a bachelor party outing. In a scene which could be straight out of Monty Python, the bartender then explained that they don't serve bachelor parties and that they would have to leave, not believing for a second that they were real priests. Thankfully, the manager realized the mistake and chased after the holy men, inviting them back to the pub and bought them all around. The Archdiocese of Cardiff thanked the pub for clearing up the understanding and treating the priests so well. However, he noted that a number of our clergy, including the Archbishop of Cardiff, frequent your bar, so don't turf any more out, please. A group of staff members at the Haklinica Veterinary Hospital in Tel Aviv, Israel, went above and beyond recently when they glued together an injured snail's shell after a woman accidentally stepped on it. Then, just for fun, they painted the words S-car on the shell so they could say, hey, look at that S-car go! Well, I guess it's true. Everything is deadly. Now they're saying that printing could harm your lungs. One-third of laser printers studied admitted ultrafine toner particles that, when inhaled, penetrate the lungs, increasing the risk for respiratory problems and disease, a report in Environmental Sciences and Technology suggests. So you could print out that latest diet or exercise routine in order to increase your health, but doing so might kill you. NASA is seeking to hire a planetary protection officer. According to the job description, planetary protection is concerned with the avoidance of organic, constituent, and biological contamination in human and robotic space exploration. Now, that basically means preventing extraterrestrial life forces from spreading during space travel. Now, the position offers an annual salary between $124,000 and $187,000, and two weeks paid vacation on Rigel 7. According to a survey, one in four Europeans has fallen asleep in the workplace. A similar conclusion was made about the United States, but uh, all of those were government workers. Just when you thought the anti-vax movement couldn't get any crazier, we take you to Brooklyn, where veterinarians have reported that some pet owners are refusing to get their pets vaccinated because they're afraid the animals will get autism. Uh, just for the record, by the way, there is no evidence whatsoever that autism even exists in non-humans. Dr. Amy Ford of the Veterinarian Wellness Center in the Boreum Hill neighborhood said this may be stemming from the anti-vaccine movement, which people are now applying to their pets. Dr. Ford said that more and more people hailing from hip areas of Brooklyn are refusing to vaccinate their pets for rabies, distemper, and hepatitis, all of which are required by law in New York. According to a study, people who attend religious services weekly live two to three years longer than those who don't attend regularly. Which is two to three years longer to wait to get to heaven, which is where we really want to be, so I'm not seeing the benefit there. The average person spends three days of their life on the phone waiting for customer service, and an additional month on the phone asking the person with the strong Indian accent to repeat what they just said. In Des Moines, Iowa, folks were simply shocked to see a guy using a hammer to destroy the beautiful sculptures at the Robert D. Ray Asian Garden, a local garden and park. Bystanders called police and begged the nutcase to stop, but to no avail. When police arrived, the man still refused to put down the hammer, so they used a stun gun on him, which was quite effective in getting him to stop the madness. He was then arrested without further incident. Man, who knew Thor could be brought down that easily? A University of Wisconsin student has been charged for running around inside the state's Capitol building naked. On the other hand, somebody found something exciting to do in Wisconsin. After their wedding ceremony, a newly married couple in Tennessee went to their motel where they got into an argument which led to the bride reaching inside her wedding dress and pulling out a pistol. It would have been a shotgun wedding, but she didn't have enough room in her bra. Britain's Prince Philip carried out his final official duty yesterday. He is now officially retired at the age of 96. So you can, so you can afford you know, to retire that young when you're married to royalty. 
A survey says 72% of Americans think people who speak multiple languages are more attractive. So, I guess it's time to start brushing up on my Klingon. And a new poll shows Kid Rock as the frontrunner for a Michigan Senate seat. So this might actually happen, people. This episode of Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by the audiobook anthology Last Exit by Jason R. Davis, an anthology of 17 horrific tales where life on the road can sometimes take a dark and unexpected turn. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Be sure to click that notification bell, too, so you'll know when I post new videos. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!